Welcome viewers to this Polymath Bookkeeping instructional video. I am Ingrid Edstrom of Polymath LLC and Ashland Bookkeeping Services and this is episode one in our series of videos on the changes going on in QuickBooks Online. This video is all about the overall workflow within the new QuickBooks Online Harmony in comparison to the classic version of QuickBooks Online that had the click map. The Harmony version of QuickBooks Online does not have the click map that many of us are used to from the classic version of QuickBooks Online or even the desktop programs QuickBooks Pro, Premier, Enterprise, and QuickBooks for Mac. So we want to give you an easy introduction on how to navigate the new Harmony interface. For quick easy reference, here is the click map from the 2014 desktop version of QuickBooks for Windows. The orientation on the desktop version is slightly different from what we have been working with in the classic version of QuickBooks Online, but the buttons leading to certain tools and the transactions as well as the overall direction of the workflow is the same. Here we have the classic QuickBooks Online click map. It used to be that this was accessible by clicking on the Home tab, then clicking on Getting Around you can see the overall simplified layout of how money moves in and out of the business. We get money from our customers and then we spend it on our vendors. This is a very easy way to remember the order of events when conducting transactions within your business books. So let's take a look first at the money going into the business. Whether you call them customers, clients, tenants, donors, or anything else, the money flowing into your company must come from somewhere and it's important to track where your money comes from so that your business can grow. Tracking money from your customers is done on invoices and on sales receipts. Now, some of you may have just asked, what's the difference and when it is appropriate to use each of those? Those are great questions for another video. So if you're asking that question right now, please make a note to go back to our website, polymath.com, and do a search for invoice versus sales receipt. You'll find a blog on that topic, and maybe in the future you'll even find a video. But for now, we're going to go ahead and focus on the workflow. For purposes of this simple tutorial, we're using a company that is not using the estimates or the billable expenses tools. If you're interested in learning about either of these tools, you can let us know by posting a video tutorial request on our Facebook page or on our website, polymath.com. We love to interact with our audience to ensure that we are creating the most valuable and pertinent content for you. So in our income workflow, you can see how the money flows from invoice to receive payment and finally to deposit. It also flows from sales receipt to deposit. You want to be sure that you're performing these transaction tasks in the correct order or it can result in incorrect customer balances or duplicated income on your reports. First you invoice your customer showing that they owe you money, then you receive your customer's payment, then you take your customer's payment to the bank. Alternately, you can create a sales receipt for your customer if they paid you at the time of service. However, you do not want to make both an invoice and a sales receipt for the same transaction as this will result in income being duplicated in your books for the same transaction. Either way, the ending task is that you always take the money to the bank. When not using the click map, these tools were previously located under the customer and banking tabs in QuickBooks Online. You would click on the customer tab to create an invoice and then to receive a payment or to create a sales receipt. Similarly, we would go to the banking tab to make a deposit. Now let's look at how money leaves the business. It goes out through the checks that we write, the cash we withdraw, and through our credit card purchases. It also leaves the business through refunds given to customers and through bills that are entered and paid using the accounts payables tools. All of the spending can be found under the banking tab. From here you can write a check, enter a credit card expense, or enter a cash expense. Credit memos and refunds to customers were previously found under the Customers tab in the classic QuickBooks Online. Bills were entered and paid under the Vendors tab. So now we're going to take a look at how all of this has changed in the new Harmony version of QuickBooks Online. 
This is the new home screen. You can see that there is no click map. Instead, QuickBooks has added the Business Insights tools where you can see your income and expenses at a glance right when you log in. For subscribers that are transitioning from the classic version of QuickBooks Online, QuickBooks provides these great pointers to help new users get familiar with the layout. So we highly recommend that you review all three of these resources, though you will notice that only one of them is a video, and it's pretty brief. And this is why Polymath has created this video series for you to get a more in-depth, step-by-step view of all of the tools that you'll need moving forward. So to find the Help menu, click on the question mark in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Please note that there are still bugs that are being worked out. Occasionally, the Help menu has failed to load. If this happens to you, be sure to let QuickBooks know. They are actively fixing issues, but they can't know about the issues if we don't tell them. You can find the Feedback button by clicking on the cog or wheel icon in the upper right hand of the screen, and this feedback link is located under your Company menu. If you want to follow along with the rest of this tutorial, but you don't yet have your own QuickBooks Online company, you can find the QuickBooks Online test company by going to this link on your screen, https colon slash slash qbo.intuit.com slash redir slash test drive. That will bring you to the test company for QuickBooks Online in which you can perform the, um, the tasks that we're going to be doing right along with us. So comparing the classic QuickBooks Online to the new Harmony version of QuickBooks Online, you remember where the old invoice screen was. Now to access our transactions, it's easiest and quickest to use the center icon at the top of the screen. This icon looks like a plus sign and then it changes to an X when clicked. From here, you can easily select to make an invoice for your customer. This is how the new invoice page looks. In Harmony, it will open as a pop-up window over the screen you are on, and you can close it by simply clicking the X in the upper right hand of the screen. Note, however, that this is not a true pop-up, and clicking the back button in your browser once you leave this screen will bring this screen back. This has caused a little bit of confusion with the navigation for new users, and it takes just a little bit of getting used to. So I recommend that you give it a try for yourself. Previously, the Receive Payment tool was located under the Customer tab. And now, like invoices, receiving a payment is now located under the plus sign. You can click on Show More under the plus sign to access more transaction tools for customers, vendors, and employees. Just select the transaction type that you want to use to open that screen. So this is now how the Receive Payment tool looks. Deposits are a little bit tricky as they used to be located under the Banking tab in the classic QuickBooks Online. There is no longer a Banking tab. Now they are located under the plus sign under Other within the plus sign menu. So once you get to the deposit screen, you can see that the usability of this deposit tool looks more or less the same. You can check off the payments or the sales receipts that you've entered from your customers to equal the total of the batch deposit that you're taking to the bank. In addition to the plus sign menu, you can also add most of your sales transactions by clicking on the Customers tab at the left side of your screen. Search for the customer that you want to use and use the Create New button at the right side of the screen. The main transactions that you will not be able to find as you're playing in the Customer Center are your credit memos and your refund receipts. If you want to enter one of those, you must use the plus sign menu at the top of the screen. So here you can see the old refund receipt looks very similar to the new one once you find it. And the old credit memo also looks very similar, that's where it's located under the plus sign menu, to the new credit memo. So we're just making sure that you now know where to find all of these tools as you're navigating the new version of QuickBooks Online. So similar to our invoices and customers, we all remember where the bills and bill payments were located in the classic QuickBooks Online. Now, in the Harmony version of QuickBooks Online, we can click on the Vendors tab on the left side of the screen to access vendor-specific transactions, or they're also all accessible from the plus sign menu at the top of the screen. 
Clicking on the bill link leads to this screen with very similar usability to the classic QuickBooks Online. And clicking on pay bills brings you to the window where you can pay a variety of vendors all at the same time. Also note that if you write a check to a vendor with an outstanding bill and accounts payable, the bill will show on the right hand side of the screen when you enter the vendor's name into the payee area on the check. Simply click add under the bill listed to turn any check into a bill payment. This helps to avoid duplicating transactions to your vendors. So that is a brief overview of the money flowing in and out comparing the classic QuickBooks Online to the new Harmony version of QuickBooks Online. Many of us are still saying, but what if I want my click map? If there, is there anything I can do? I'm glad that you asked. Tell QuickBooks, they really do want your feedback and they are making changes based on what people are saying. So remember that you can access the feedback button under the cog or wheel icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Be sure to give specific requests for particular tools rather than general criticisms. The main piece that I'm hearing from my clients is that they really want their ClickMac back. So jump on there and tell them that you want your ClickMac back. Let's all make this video obsolete as quickly as possible by getting this ClickMap. So for a closer look at the new QuickBooks Online Harmony without a comparison to the classic QuickBooks Online version, be sure to check out episode two of this series on the changes of QuickBooks Online that episode will go through QuickBooks Online Harmony without the comparison to the classic version. Then the episodes 3 through 13 will get more into step-by-step -step transaction instructions. So once again, I'm Ingrid Edstrom of Polymath Bookkeeping, certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor. Thank you so much for watching and remember to contact us to request specific videos when you get stuck in your bookkeeping or your QuickBooks. Thanks so much. Have a great day.